Sam Tricky Trickett has woken up with pocket queens here. He's going to make a raise to 60,000. Tobias Rankemeyer with pocket jacks. We're going to see some fireworks here. This is what we call a classic cooler, where both players have got strong hands and they're going to play them strongly. 360, 400, 425 maybe. Rankemeyer asking Tricky for a count. 310, 420 back. So he's bet 60,000, he has 420,000 behind. Rankemeyer with well over a million in chips. All Rankemeyer is thinking about here is how do I get Trickett to put more chips in the pot? Call in, call. And he's done it. He's not going to be happy. So a quick all in call, and we see the pocket queens of Sam Trickett. Versus the pocket jacks of Tobias Rankemeyer. Sam Trickett's tournament life on the line. He is a big favourite, as you can see. He's about four to one. Looking to double up to just under a million in chips. And be a real strong contender in this tournament. Time to get lucky. First five. Rankemeyer stating the obvious. He does have to get lucky. Wow, that thing versus big blind. Wow. Jack in the window. Jack, eight, nine. Sam Trickett in big trouble. He needs a ten, a queen, running clubs. Wow, what a flop. This is what poker's all about. Bingo. Wow, what a turn card. Bingo, as you said, Joe. Insurance. Sam Trickett now with a straight to the Insurance. queen. He does not want to see a repeat <laughs> card on the river. That's the only card that's going to prevent him from doubling up. We'll see what it is. It's an ace. So Sam Trickett is safe. He'll double through to just under a million in chips. Tobias Rankemeyer down to 663,000. Oh, <laughs> and even after a hand like that, the players can laugh. Sam Trickett now with just under a million in chips. He is going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with. Join us after the break as we return for the $250,000 challenge final table. Only getting hit with the deck now. Ace Jack. He's been fairly quiet. And now he's come alive. He's about 60,000. Fabian Quas with the ace 10. So we might see some action here. It's five handed. Any ace is strong, let alone an ace 10 suited. I doubt that Fabian can fold his hand. We'll see what he does. Cool. So he's going to call the 60,000. Action now on Tobias Rankemeyer. He's going to fold. Winfred you in the small blind. He gets out of the way. Kurganov with the jack 10. Eight. So Kurganov's in for 30,000. It's going to cost him another 30,000. He wants to know how much Fabian's got. It's a must call for uh, Kurganov. Absolute must call here. So, three way action. I see the flop. Igor Kurganov's going to be first to speak. Ace, eight, two. Wow, so we will see some fireworks here. This is not a good flop for Quas. Not when Sam Trickett's holding Ace Jack and he's holding Ace 10. So, Kurganov's checked. Action's now on Tricky. Sam definitely has to bet. Check. Wow, he's checking. I'm totally surprised by that. Unless he's looking for the check raise, I have no idea why he's checked that flop. So action on Fabian Quas.
And he checks, so we'll see the turn card. Ooh, and it's another ace. Kurganov first to speak. So both Trickett and Quas now with three aces. Of course, Trickett is far ahead with the ace jack. Kurganov's checked. It's a very tricky situation here because both Trickett and and Quas have to believe they have the best hand. Kurganov is totally out of the picture at this stage. So Sam Trickett's going to lead out here for 84,000. Action's going to be on Fabian Quas. What will he be thinking? He's thinking, surely I've got ace 10 here. I must have the best hand. Or did Sam try and trap me in the, on the flop and now I'm even more trapped? They're the only two things he can be thinking. But I have a feeling the reason they're playing so cautiously at this stage is because of that all-important money bubble, Jono. Well, next one out gets nothing. Exactly. One mistake and they're gone. And they miss out on that $500,000 minimum payout. Fabian Quas makes the call. So we'll see the river card. What will Sam Trickett make of that call? The five of spades, so a flush possible now. Action will be on Sam. Okay, here's my thing. If Fabian did have a flush draw, he would bet the flop and check the turn. But he checked the flop and called the turn after Sam's bet. Sam has to believe that he's got the best hand at the moment. It's just a matter of how much can I bet that Quas will call me and I can get value for my three aces. Quas is not waiting for a bet. He is looking at Sam Trickett intently now, trying to find information before the bet comes out. I'm going to guess 175,000 is going to be the bet. How important is bet sizing in this situation? Very important because you bet too much, you lose him. You bet too little, you don't get enough value. 181. Ha! Huh. 181,000 is the bet. Fancy that I was wrong. Not by much. So Fabian Quas, 181,000 to call. There's currently 564,000 in the pot. Fabian's just Hollywooding here. He's definitely calling. There's no way he's following that hand. He may be thinking about raising, but I doubt it. I think he's just saying, well, I have to call. I've got no choice. I probably don't like it, though. So Fabian Quas has made the call. Sam Trickett is going to win a pot just under 750000 here. And you're right, Joe. Fabian Quas didn't like it, but he did make the call today. Question isn't will he raise. Question is how much. Raise to 100000 This time it's a min raise. 100000 So he's varying things up a bit. He's found the 5-6 of spades. So is he hoping to see a flop here, Joe? No, I think it's he's just making it just a raise in position and mixing it up a little bit rather than moving all in every hand. How much do you have, Fabian? Confusing his opponents a little bit. That's three. Three So Igor Kurganov is going to make the call with the Jack-7 of spades. And we'll see a flop. Igor Kurganov is the first player to speak. 2-9-3 with two spades, so both players 
They flopped a flush draw. Trickett doesn't want to see a spade on the turn here. Bet 80,000. 80,000. So Sam's bet 80,000. Action's back on Igor. Igor. Igor could quite easily check raise here with his spade draw. He's taking the safe Four. option. He's just calling. To the turn. So we see the turn card and it's the four of spades. Wow, what a card. That has made Sam Trickett a straight flush. He is absolutely unbeatable in this hand. And Igor Kurganov has got a jack high flush, so he'll think that he's unbeatable. Both players will think they've got the best hand. This will be very, very interesting to watch. This is what we call a cooler, Jono. All the chips are going into the middle. Sam has the absolute nuts. He's got the best hand possible. Igor's going to call 100%. So Sam's bid out. He's bid 160,000 behind a check from Igor. So Igor is trying to trap him here, thinking that he's got the best hand. Little does he know that Sam is unbeatable. Call, Sam says you're drawing dead and shows him the straight flush. No mercy, Sam. Straight away, call, you're drawing dead. I've seen this. Jesus Christ, man. Like. I think Sam's been. Little... Sam's just like this big train that's built up momentum and he's going to just power right through them. Ha, huh, and it helps that he's picking up an ace every second hand as well. Raise. So he's made a big enough raise to put Fabian Quas all in. Fabian now with a decision to make. Looks like he's found the six, seven of spades. And he says, that's good enough. I'll take a risk. I'm guaranteed 750000 I need to double up if I'm going to win this tournament. He won't like what he sees here. Ace-10 of spades from Sam Trickett. Yeah, I had you on hearts. Otherwise, I wouldn't have called. But I'm not so good with life tennis. So we see the flop. Jack, king, four. Fabian's going to need to catch running sixes or sevens or straight cards, or he's going to be out of this tournament. Oh, and the Queen of Spades is going to make Sam Trickett a straight to the ace and eliminate Fabian Quas from this tournament. He's now dead. He can't win. He's going to be eliminated in third place for 750. Action's now on Tobias. King two off suit. Powerful hand heads up. On him. All in. He announces all in. Sam Trick has found another ace here, Joe. Wow, that's very unusual for Sam to have an ace in his hand. Call. Sam calls. There we go. Bit of sarcasm there from me. So this could be it. Sam Trickett is the chip leader. Tobias Rankemeyer with all his chips on the line, his tournament life at stake. Up. Still smiling. He knows he's guaranteed 1.25 million, but that extra 750,000 wouldn't hurt. So here we go. We'll see the flop. Jack, seven, eight. No help for either player. Sam Trickett's still in front with his ace. Does not want to see a king or a deuce. We'll see the turn card. It's the Queen of Spades. Baba. 
insurance. Yeah. He's asking the crowd for insurance, not that he needs it. Yeah. And there it is, the eight of diamonds on the river changes nothing. Okay. Sam Trickett is our champion.